spray them or you can individually protect them, which would not make sense on a commercial basis, but for an antique orchard where we want to display the different varieties that we've got, it might make sense to take the time to individually protect them. So you can leave the leaves on. Sometimes I, I peel them back a little bit, being careful with it. And I take the foot sock and I open it up and 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 then I, ha I, I make sure that I can get down there most of the way down the apple. I'm going to leave a little bit of space at the end, but I've got to get a good portion of the foot sock over the apple. Now there's a couple ways that you can tie that in. Some people simply twist it around and move it around. Some people twist it and tuck it in. Uh, I've also got some rubber bands and some twist ties. You could probably just leave that there. And what's going to happen is that the apple maggot fly, when it lands on this foot sock, finds it irritating and it looks for another place to go. So believe it or not, we've pretty much protected that apple. So, anyway, so, so I sometimes put these little, I, I get these from a 99 cent store, they're dollar braids. 500 for a dollar. That's my kind of pricing. And because I like everything ship shape, I actually put the rubber bands over there. But you could tie it, you could twist it, anything as long as it doesn't fall off.